Hello everyone, and in this video, we are going to look at how you can create your own PMP exam study plan. So across the top here, you can have all of your task names, then you can have your percentage complete of all of these tasks, the duration, so how long you plan to study for it before you take your exam, the start date and finish date. So you can customize this spreadsheet however you want, and you can create your own spreadsheet as well. So it's beneficial to write all of your tasks in Microsoft Project because it will automatically calculate the duration and the percentage complete for you. So it's just easier to use. As well, you can have a predecessor column. So that means that which task would follow which task. A predecessor is a task that must be completed before the following task, the tasks that follow it can start. So you can build in those logics so it will automatically help you uh, plan out um, the start and finish day. So let's say that you know this task has has to start after the first task here. And if I just write my predecessor over here, then uh, what Microsoft um, Project would know is that the start date of this task will have to be after the finish date of this task. Um, so it has all of those built-in logic in it. So I would recommend using Microsoft Project. But if you don't have access to Project, you can also create your own study plan in Excel as well. So in this video, I'm just going to walk you through all of the different tasks that I have in this. Uh, by no means, it's all of the tasks that you have to do. You can custom Customize this to fit your needs. You can, you know, add in some additional tasks or subtract other tasks and so forth. So let's just go through this now in terms of preparation. You, first, you want to make sure that you do qualify to take the PMP exam. So if you have a college degree, then you uh, need three or more years of project management experience. If you do not, then you need five or more years of project management experience. Before you start, you want to review your PMP handbook and then register yourself as a PMI member. The benefit of being a PMI member before you go is that overall you will be saving uh, $20 on your um, overall exam fees. So uh, at the time when this video is being recorded, if you were a PMI member and you wanted to take the PMP exam, you would pay $534 US dollars. If you were not a PMI member, then you'll pay $555 US dollars. And on top of that, uh, as a PMI member, you will also get a free copy of the PMBOK guide. So if you want to write your PMP exam, it's definitely very beneficial to become a PMI member, at least in your first year. And once you have done that, make sure you register for one of our free PMP classes at www.examspm.com free. So in this class, we'll talk about how to, you know, memorize the process table, how to understand ITTOs, how to fill in your applications. We'll give you a lot of different exam tips and it's definitely a session that you don't want to miss and you want to download your pinball guide from PMI. So once you have done all the prep work, it's now time to do your, uh, your studies. So, you know, this is divided by the chapters of the PMBOK guide. So you want to study each chapter and then take a post um, chapter test. In the PMBOK, there isn't a post test. So you would have to go and purchase a exam simulator that's divided by the different sections and test yourself that way. And we do have an exam simulator here at Exams PM. So for each of the chapters, you study that chapter and you can study in a variety of different ways. This will really depend upon your learning style. So if you are a visual learner, maybe you want to read a couple of books. Um, if you are an audio learner, then perhaps you want to purchase some courses where you can either study online or in person and then test yourself after every single chapter. And then across here, just make sure you put in your dates and so forth. So once you do that, do not forget about professional responsibilities. Once you finish all the chapters and all of the post test, uh, ensure that you reread all the chapters where you didn't score above 80% on your post chat tests. Reread or rewatch, I should say, and then retake the test again to make sure that you get over 80%. And that concludes your core studies. And then now you're ready for your application. The reason you wanna do your application after 
or in parallel, you could also do it in parallel while you're studying, is because uh, a section of your, your application asks for your 35 contact hour certificate, and you can only get your certificate after you've completed a PMP certification course. So you have to apply after you've completed this course. You just simply go on to pmi.org to start your application. And if you want to some tips on how to write your application descriptions, be sure to sign up for a free course at examspm.com free. And we'll also include a link on the bottom with a couple of description samples that can help you get started. Okay. And then after you finish your application, it's time to take the full length exams. So each full length exam is 200 questions and you have four hours to complete it. Um, so you want to do as many of these as you can before your actual exam. And we talk about why that is in our free courses as well at examspm.com free. And you can also get uh, 200 free questions um, through our website. So we'll also include that link at the bottom. So make sure you download our 200 free practice questions. But the point here is that uh, no matter which exam simulator you go with, you want to do as many of these full length exams as possible because you want to make sure that you can uh, complete 200 questions in under four hours. And then after each exam, uh, study your week areas, you know, re-memorize your formulas again, re-memorize your process groups, knowledge areas, and processes, and finally you take your exam. So that concludes the sample study plan that we have, and you can customize this to include more tasks, less tasks, etc. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful, and be sure to sign up for a free class at examspm.com-free. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.